Hooked on sweetness. Imagine biting into a warm, gooey brownie. Instantly, your brain lights up like Times Square. That rush? It's dopamine. Your brain's feel-good chemical. Throwing a party in your nucleus accumbens, the brain's reward center. But here's the twist. The more sugar you eat, the more your brain adapts. It's like turning up the volume on your headphones until regular settings don't cut it anymore. Scientists call this dopamine dysregulation, but think of it as your brain getting a little too clingy with sugar. Studies on rats show they binge sugar, crave more, and even go through withdrawal when it's taken away. Some even show cross-addiction. Translation, sugar is the gateway for other substances like alcohol or amphetamines. Yep, sugar can be that persuasive, but it's actually the pattern of eating sugar that matters most. Occasional sweets? No problem. But that constant snack binge snack loop rewires your brain's reward circuits. In short, sugar hacks your brain, and it doesn't plan to log out anytime soon. Leaky brain. Your brain is like a high-security VIP club. The blood-brain barrier is the bouncer, keeping out troublemakers like toxins and rogue molecules. But flood your system with sugar, and that bouncer? Yeah, he quits. Chronic high blood sugar damages the barrier's walls. It breaks down tight junction proteins, think of them as the do not enter signs, and ramps up enzymes called matrix metalloproteinases that eat away at the structure. Oxidative stress piles on, leaving gaps big enough for inflammatory molecules and toxins to stroll right in. Research backs it up. Diabetic patients show a leakier barrier over time, which matches up with worsening memory and cognitive decline. Animal studies? Same story. High glucose turns the brain's fortress into Swiss cheese. What's more, this breakdown can start early long before symptoms appear, setting the stage for bigger problems like Alzheimer's down the road. Memory on mute. Ever walk into a room and forget why you're there? Now imagine that, but all the time. That's what chronic sugar overload does to your brain, especially your hippocampus, the little seahorse-shaped region in charge of memory and learning. Too much sugar lowers BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, basically fertilizer for your neurons. It also messes with synaptic plasticity, the brain's ability to make and strengthen connections. Add in insulin resistance and a dash of neuroinflammation, and your memory circuits start glitching out. Studies back this up. Young adults with high sugar intake show worse memory and attention. Brain scans even reveal shrinkage in the hippocampus. And teens? They're hit hardest. Sugar in adolescents can leave lasting memory deficits, even after diets improve. Bottom line? Sugar doesn't just sweeten your coffee. It scrambles the hard drive storing your memories. Always hungry mode. Ever eat dessert and, five minutes later, find yourself raiding the pantry like it owes you money? That's fructose, sugar's sneaky cousin, flipping the hunger switch in your brain. But unlike glucose, which boosts satiety hormones like insulin and leptin to send your body I'm full signals, fructose barely moves the needle. Instead, it lights up your brain's reward center, making every snack look like a five-star meal. Brain scans back this up. People drinking fructose-heavy drinks showed bigger spikes in hunger and impulsivity. Basically, fructose whispers, eat now, think later, and your brain listens. And here's the wild part. Your body can actually turn regular glucose into fructose through something called the polyol pathway. Translation, even normal sugar can trigger that endless hunger loop. Bottom line, fructose doesn't just sweeten your soda. It hijacks your appetite playlist and hits repeat. Sugar time machine. Think of sugar as your brain's fast-forward button, except it skips the fun parts and lands you straight in old and forgetful. Here's why. Sugar reacts with proteins in your brain to form something ominously called advanced glycation end products, or AGEs. Cute name, nasty effect. These AGEs gum up your neurons like caramel stuck in a keyboard. They pump out free radicals, little chemical troublemakers, and mess with your mitochondria, the power plants of your brain cells. Less energy means slower thinking, fuzzy focus, and over time, serious cognitive decline. Animal studies nail this down. Mice-fed high AGE diets had sluggish mitochondria and memory that tanked faster than a bad Wi-Fi connection. Human studies, same story. Higher AGE intake, faster mental aging. And here's the kicker. High heat cooking like frying or grilling cranks up AGE levels in food. Prevention, not repair, is the only way out. Brain on fire. If your brain is a peaceful neighborhood, microglia, your brain's immune cells, are the friendly neighborhood watch. But when sugar keeps spiking and crashing in your bloodstream, those microglia grab torches and start a riot. Wild swings in glucose flip molecular switches that turn microglia hyperactive. Suddenly, they're spewing inflammatory chemicals and reactive oxygen species, basically brain-damaging sparks flying everywhere. 
Research shows even brief glucose jumps light the inflammatory fire. Then, when sugar levels crash, microglia can actually self-destruct, leaving your brain defenses weak. And with constant highs and lows, the inflammation loop becomes a vicious cycle, like a smoke alarm you can't shut off. Fun fact, microglia can switch to backup fuels like glutamine when sugar's low. But if sugar chaos is constant, that flexibility collapses and your brain stays stuck in a toxic, inflamed state. Brain in slow mode. Imagine your brain as a bustling city. Insulin is the traffic cop, directing glucose, your brain's fuel, exactly where it needs to go. But eat too much sugar for too long, and that cop? He takes an extended coffee break. Constant sugar floods cause high insulin levels and make your brain's insulin receptors tune out. With fewer receptors listening, glucose uptake slows, mitochondrial power plants sputter, and those vital connections between neurons called synaptic plasticity start to fade. Worse, this resistance messes with cleaning up toxic proteins like amyloid beta and tau, both linked to Alzheimer's. Long-term studies nail this down. People with insulin resistance, even without diabetes, experience faster declines in memory and problem-solving skills. Brain scans show sluggish glucose uptake in the same regions that falter in Alzheimer's. The good news? It's not a one-way street. Exercise can restore brain sensitivity, like giving that traffic cop a fresh whistle. Brain growth on pause. Think of BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, as fertilizers for your neurons. It helps your brain grow new connections, keeps neurons alive, and powers learning and memory. But when your diet is loaded with sugar, that growth switch gets flipped to off. Here's how. Sugar drives inflammation and oxidative stress, which slam the brakes on BDNF production. With less BDNF, your neurons struggle to form strong connections. Neurotransmitter release slows down and your ability to learn or remember starts to wobble. Animal studies show this clearly. Just two months on a high-sugar, high-fat diet tanked BDNF levels and wrecked spatial learning. Humans with diabetes? Same pattern. Lower BDNF, worse glucose control, weaker cognitive performance. The cruel twist? Low BDNF makes you crave even more sugar, locking you in a sweet but destructive cycle. The silver lining? Exercise and better eating habits can crank BDNF back up, giving your brain a chance to bounce back. Sugar hangover. Ever have a sugar rush so strong it felt like the bartender just handed you the perfect cocktail, only to be hungover two hours later, regretting everything? That's sugar behind the bar, mixing up your brain's mood drinks, serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine. Sugar pours you a quick serotonin shot, that ah, uh, life is good buzz. But it's a cheap special. Your supply runs dry fast and suddenly the bar's out of booze. Keep ordering sugar and your brain builds tolerance, so you need stronger pours just to feel normal, like chasing doubles that don't even hit anymore. Studies show women in particular may get hit harder, with sugar leaving deeper serotonin hangovers. And here's the kicker. The worse the crash, the more you crave another round, trapping you in a not-so-fun drinking loop. And artificial sweeteners? They're not innocent mixers either. They're like sketchy knockoff booze that scrambles the whole cocktail menu. Static gut brain line. Think of your gut and brain as two best friends constantly texting each other. But dump too much sugar into the mix and suddenly those texts turn into spam messages and mixed signals. Here's how it works. Sugar feeds the toxic friend group in your gut, the harmful bacteria, while ghosting the good friends like lactobacillus that keep things balanced. This friendship drama scrambles the messages being sent up to your brain, messing with mood, memory, and focus. Research backs it up. Adolescent rats on high-sugar diets saw a surge of parabacteroids bacteria, and their memory took a nosedive. When scientists transplanted those same bacteria to healthy rats, boom, the same brain fog showed up. And here's the kicker. Your gut can text back. Those microbes can send crave sugar now messages straight to your brain, keeping the toxic cycle going. Basically, your gut bestie starts peer pressuring you into dessert. Brain under siege. Picture your brain as a high-tech city running on clean energy. Now imagine sugar barging in like a reckless arsonist, tossing sparks everywhere. Those sparks? Reactive oxygen species, or ROS, free radicals that wreak havoc on neurons, proteins, even your brain's DNA. Here's the breakdown. Too much glucose overwhelms your natural defense squad, antioxidants like glutathione, while your mitochondria, the city's power plants, start malfunctioning. With high oxygen use but limited defenses, your brain is basically running around with a fire hazard sign taped to its forehead. Research paints a clear picture. Diabetic brains show higher oxidative damage, weakened antioxidant enzymes, and mitochondrial burnout. And here's the kicker. This damage snowballs. ROS damage mitochondria, 
damaged mitochondria make more ROS, and the vicious cycle keeps spinning. The good news? The city isn't doomed. Cutting sugar and boosting antioxidants gives your brain a fighting chance to rebuild and defend itself. Learning on pause. Imagine your brain as a gym where neurons are constantly training, building stronger connections every time you learn something new. Now picture sugar barging in, yanking the weights away, and locking the treadmill. Here's what's happening. High sugar disrupts synaptic plasticity, your brain's ability to strengthen or weaken connections based on experience. It messes with glutamate signaling, dulls NMDA receptors, the key coaches for learning, and throws off calcium signals that help lock memories in place. Research backs it up. Brain scans and stimulation studies show that people with diabetes have reduced cortical plasticity. Translation? Their neurons aren't flexing like they should, and it shows in slower learning and weaker memory performance. The scary part? These changes start early, long before full-blown diabetes sets in. The good news? Intervening early and with less sugar and more brain-healthy habits can help keep those mental workouts going strong. Sweet dreams? Not quite. Imagine your brain as a perfectly timed orchestra, every instrument playing in sync to keep your sleep, energy, and focus humming along. Now dump in a high-sugar diet. Suddenly, the drummer's off-beat, the violins are screeching, and nobody knows what song they're playing. Sugar scrambles your circadian rhythms, your body's natural clock, by throwing off key hormones like insulin, cortisol, and melatonin. That means your sleep-wake cycle gets out of tune, and your brain can't reset properly overnight. Research shows glucose metabolism itself runs on a clock, with your body handling sugar better during the day than at night. Eat a sugary dessert late in the evening, and you're practically signing up for a restless night and sluggish brain power the next day. Even worse, poor sleep and sugar feed each other in a vicious loop. Less sleep hurts glucose control, and wacky glucose levels make sleep even harder. Brain connections on mute. Think of your brain as a super highway system, with white matter as the smooth, fast lanes carrying messages between regions. But when sugar sticks around too long, traffic jams, potholes, and road closures everywhere. Research shows that chronic high blood sugar sparks inflammation and oxidative stress, which chip away at the myelin sheaths, the insulation that keeps your brain's wiring fast and efficient. As the damage builds, communication slows and your cognitive processing speed takes a noticeable hit. Research backs this up. Even young adults with diabetes show white matter damage in key areas, the corpus callosum, temporal, parietal, and occipital regions. And those changes line up with slower thinking and weaker memory. What's wild is that this road damage can show up early, often before gray matter loss or other obvious symptoms. It's the brain's early warning sign, and if ignored, it can pave the way toward patterns seen in Alzheimer's disease. If you liked this video and are interested in learning more, check out these other videos.